because today we're going to be talking about one of my most favourite ever artists, Vincent van Gogh. He's a Dutch artist, impressionist painter, and I just love how he uses really thick paint. I love almost all of his paintings. Okay, so we are going to be mainly looking at landscapes and we're going to be doing something like this. You're going to need, for today's lesson, a piece of paper. You can work on a bigger paper if you like, smaller paper, whatever you have. You're going to need some, either little bits of tissue, little cotton balls or pads. You can even use your fingers if you don't have that. And some Q-tips if you have them. And we're going to be using tempera paint if you have it. If you don't have it, you can experiment with another material like uh, crepas or another type of paint. I'm using tempera paint. I'm going to need white and blue for the sky. I'm going to be using blue, green and it's purple for the hills and for the fields at the front. I'm going to be using red, orange and yellow. So when we look at a landscape in this particular one, we've got a foreground. That's the land that's closest to us, the midground. And then the background is mainly sky, but we'll talk a bit more about that when we start. Okay, so we are ready to start our Van Gogh landscape. You have your paper landscape in front of you. I just have a couple of examples and hopefully you had a chance to look at some of the other examples of some of his landscapes. So we can see in these ones, we have sky. We have some kind, sometimes they have some hills in the mid, uh, ground. This one has little houses and then the foreground some fields. This one is more simple. It's just got a sky and some fields in the uh, midground and then more fields in the foreground, little flowers and things here. This one again mostly sky and just fields. We have a little path going through. So hopefully you get a chance to look at some other ones. My example i just did a fairly simple landscape where i have my foreground my midground is my hills my sky and i just added two of these tall trees they're called cypress trees and uh, van gogh painted them in a lot of his landscapes so we're going to start off by just drawing with our pencil a rough outline of what we want our landscape to look like. So I'm going to just do a line for my uh, foreground. That's going to be my fields here. I'm going to do some hills. Maybe they go further up. And then I want to do a couple of those wavy cypress trees. I love those. But you can add as many trees as you like. You can maybe add a little house. That is going to be your choice. Okay, so I'm going to start off with my blue and white for the sky. You're going to be using mostly white and we're going to be doing like a double dip. So I'll be dipping in the white and then dipping a little bit in the blue. I'm going to use the cotton pad and I might just try the little tissue paper too. Um, just give it a try. So mostly white, a tiny bit of blue, and I'm just gonna make these swirly, whirly patterns just like Van Gogh would. I don't really want to mix it. I want to see some of the blue and some of the white still. So I'm not mixing round and round until I've got a light blue. Okay, maybe a little bit too much blue that time. So I'm just going to continue to cover my whole sky. Don't worry if you go over your hills a little bit, you can paint over them later. You see I'm not mixing, I'm just swirling the paint around. I'm going to give the little tissue paper a try so you can see how that looks too. Ooh, I think I like the effect of this. Okay, 
I'm setting it a little bit more flight. Okay, so once I've got the whole sky covered, I'm gonna go on and I'm gonna paint. I'm actually gonna do my foreground next, so it'll give this part a little bit of time to dry. So for my foreground was my wheat field, so I'm going to use the yellow, the orange and the red, and just a similar thing. I'm going to use mostly yellow and be dipping a little bit in red and a little bit in the orange. Okay, now I have my foreground done. I am going to move on to the midground, and I have blue, green, and purple. Okay, the last thing I'm going to do for now is the cypress trees. I'm going to use my q tip this time with the green, the blue, and the purple again. So this time I'm going to be doing little downward strokes and little short strokes. It's going to be mostly green, but you can add a little bit of the purple and the blue also. Just going to take the Q-tip and add a little bit of texture to my hills as well. So we can make it look like those thick brush strokes that Van Gogh used. Okay, so once you have got to this stage, you're going to let it dry, okay, because we're not completely finished. I may have forgot to mention you will need crepa for the last finishing touch, so let's take this one away and bring my one that is dry. And we're just going to be adding a little bit of texture with oil pastels or crayon if you have. If you noticed, I've just made very little small dots or dashes on my fields. I'm using red, a sort of wheaty color, orange, and a yellow, just to give a little bit more texture and make it look like it's those brush strokes again. And then you can do a similar thing on your cypress trees, so you can add little lines coming down. You could even maybe outline them a little bit to make them stand out if you like. Okay, so I hope that you really enjoyed making this Van Gogh landscape and I really cannot wait to see yours.